this is kind of the, it's kind of like a tortilla. So think of a tortilla, but we're making it completely out of plantains. Um, now why you can do that is plantains, if you've never tried them before, it looks like a banana. It's a large banana, uh, but it doesn't have that sort of sweetness. Um, it's a little more starchy and it, it works very, very well in savory dishes. It kind of tastes like a potato or has like that mm -hmm. starchy, starchiness to it. Not a potato, yeah. not a potato, but it, it's, it has a, it has a, a texture wise. Yeah. yeah. It's more on the starchy side than, than the banana would be. And nutrition wise, good source of fiber, high in potassium, just like a banana would be. And you're also getting some extra nutrition from the plantain, vitamins A, C, and B6. So vitamins A and C, some powerful antioxidants that can help to fight off illness and infection, reduce your risk of chronic diseases, such as cancer, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. And vitamin B6 is important for a number of chemical reactions in the body. It's also needed to help convert food into energy in your body. So when you, if you, if you fry it, mm -hmm. you still get all that nutrition all of it? Yes, so if you fry it, which is the traditional way to make this recipe, then you're definitely, you're still getting the nutrition that's within the plantain, yeah. but you're adding a lot of calories and fat from the oil that you're using. Oh. So depending on what your goals are, Today we're going to make a bit of a lighter version. We're going to be baking them. Okay. The traditional way you'd be frying it twice. So when you're picking the plantain, um, this, is, this is what you're looking for. It's, it's yellow. It has some of the dark spots. That's okay. That's fine. Um, I also know some people that actually use them when they're green, when they're completely green. Um, they're even, I mean, this isn't sweet at all, but if you're going to think of even less sweet, a little more starchy, um, and those work out just as well. But either, either one. And what I've done is just cut the top, bottom off. It's a little harder to open up than a banana, but not that difficult. I'm sure everyone can get through it. I made these on the weekend, and I just put them in the microwave for a couple minutes after you kind of slice them down the side, because mine were green. And with the green ones, you really can't get the peel off unless yeah, you soften harder. it up a bit. So using the microwave and just putting it in for 30 seconds really helped to, to get that peel off. So we want to chop them into about half to like three quarter inch size pieces. That's going to go into our bowl. Now, as Christy said, um, they're usually cooked twice when they're made. So typically fried, you fry them one time to soften them up and then you fry, you squish them and fry them again to crisp them up. Um, they're delicious, but we want to see if we can, we can try to avoid using the deep fryer. Um, I'm not even a fan, like aside from the health reason alone, just to set it up and to add the oil and make a mess, I actually prefer to use the oven and it comes out really good. So what we still want to do is cook them twice. So we're going to cook them the first time, this size, and we're going to add some flavor. So smoked paprika, love this stuff. We use it quite a bit. Um, you can find it at almost every grocery store now. Um, it has a, it's like a hot and mild version. The hot version is not really spicy. It's just, I think, a little more smokier. So especially if you like, you know, you're not a big fan of spicy food, <laughs> this is a great substitute to use because you're going to get some nice smoky flavor, some great pepper flavor, but none of that kind of spice, that heat. So we're going to add a good shake, a little bit more on top of the plantains. Um, and garlic, you got to chop it up very well. Or if you have one of these rasps, these microplanes, just grate it into, and you can kind of see it turns it into this really nice kind of mince. That just helps so that you can kind of incorporate it all over all the plantain pieces. And we're going to add just a touch of olive oil, so just about a tablespoon or so. It's a slow spout. I hear the giggles. Better than frying it in a pan full of oil like that. Yeah. Or with any starchy food like your french fries, you know, your plantains would be absorbing a lot of that oil. And so we're just going to toss them up. And you can flavor them with anything. You can even add like chopped rosemary in here. It would be fantastic. Any sort of dried spices. We're going to keep it fairly simple. And now what I'm going to do with this, so it's done. I'm going to put it onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And we're going to bake that at 350. Uh, for about 20 minutes. So you're going to get some caramelization going on. It's going to soften up a little bit. It's actually going to look. Let's 
there should be more than that, hopefully. <laughs> don't just make four, it's a lot of work. They don't shrink, they just reduce or, or, in number somehow. Yeah. So that's what they're looking like. A little bit of caramelization. They're much softer now. That's kind of the first cook through that. Um, and now what we're going to do is actually squash them. So what we, uh, you, any sort of flat device, you can use a plate, you can use um, a pan, the bottom of a pot. Bottom of a jar, bottom of a glass, whatever works. I think, yeah, I think you get the idea. Anything that's flat and uh, can squish. And what, what I'm going to do is actually put it between two pieces of parchment. You can use even like plastic wrap, surround wrap, just so it doesn't stick. If you put it onto like a cutting board, sometimes it'll stick. And because it's, it's soft, it's starchy, but it still has some moisture in it, um, it's just a lot easier to do between parchments. Uh, so what we're going to do is put the plantain in between. And they have some really cool t tostone presses. Like if you really get hardcore into this, you can, you can buy one of those. Um, I think they have them in Kensington Market. And they're great to use too. But the much cheaper version is the bottom <laughs> of a bowl. And all I want to do is give it a nice little press until they're about, so you can see how thin they are, about the, maybe the thickness of a toonie. Mm -hmm. Is that a good comparison, toonie? So uh, do that a bunch of times. Put that back onto the baking sheet. And you're going to bake it again. But while you're doing this, raise the heat to about 400 degrees. So first setting is 350, gentle heat, then 400 degrees. It's a good way to get it nice and crisp, we right? get it. Yeah, we want to get a nice crisp on that. Uh, remember, we're not, we're not frying it, right? Uh, frying it is going to you know, give you that kind of crispiness, so we want to sort of replicate that. So we're going to put that in 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And you might be tempted just to bake it once and leave it you know, the thicker version that way. I did a taste test with my family over the weekend where I did the, the once baked, so the thicker version, and then the flattened ones. And the flattened ones, everybody voted for those. Uh, so it was definitely worth it. I think it just it crisps up a lot more nicely. Um, and people said it reminded them almost of latkes. So that's where I was thinking it has that potato feel to it, or kind of that starchy but crispiness, um, and really nice and light. So that's what they look like after. Um, they get this really nice crispy edges, um, and they still, they're still malleable, so they have still a nice soft texture inside, but a nice crispiness on the outside. And this, again, this is a great substitution if you were to do anything like tacos or any sort of small, maybe even like instead of a crostini, like little pieces of bread. Try something like a plantain. It looks really cool. It has a similar kind of texture and a similar... Um, sort of starchiness to it, and it's, they're absolutely delicious. And you're getting some extra vitamins in there, the vitamins A and C. Um, so we've gotten some powerful antioxidants that, and vitamin A in particular is important for eye health. So helping to prevent cataracts, as well as losing your eyesight due to aging. So mm -hmm. all of that free radical damage is prevented by incorporating some more of these antioxidants. And so these are commonly made and then sold with various amount of toppings. So sometimes shredded pork, sometimes shredded chicken, uh, you know, dips like guacamole, different salsas. So you can serve them with absolutely anything that you like. Um, I'm gonna show you, this is a quick recipe for sort of like a bean, like a black bean salad. So we have some black beans here. These are cooked black beans. If you're using the cans, just you know, rinse, rinse and drain them really well. Uh, we're gonna add any sort of uh, leafy green, cilantro. This, I'm gonna add parsley today. I actually had uh, a parsley coconut salad on the weekend, um, and it was a Sri Lankan dish, and it was delicious. It's very far from Cuba, but I find some of the flavors still really work well together. So black bean, some shredded parsley. This is fresh grated coconut. Um, <clears throat> this is just fresh piece of coconut. Use a box grater. You have this really nice texture. If you can't uh, if you don't want to crack a coconut or if you can't find the fresh pieces of coconut, um, you can use the dried. Just go for the unsweetened version. And so we're going to add about a quarter cup of the fresh coconut to that. And then we have some just red onions, some thinly sliced red onions. That's going to go in. We're going to give it a good squeeze of lime juice and you can add lemon juice 
and just a little bit of olive oil. And it's like beautiful colors, really nice and bright, really nice and fresh. We'll mix it up really well. And so that's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Like I said, you could serve whatever you want on it. So I love avocado. We're going to add a couple slices of avocado to that. And you just top it with a little bit of that black bean, coconut, salsa. And that's it. Really, really nice sort of snack. Yeah, and that's it. Really nice tostones with a nice coconut black bean salsa. 